I've done a weekly roster in the past and people were asking me if it works in monthly. So the answer was uh, no. Uh, so I've created another one that can be used as monthly. You have the full month ahead of you here. So I'm just going to uh, give you a demo here. And I'm going to start with a guide that I, am, that I have you have on a different tab here. So the first part is getting started uh, customization. So you, you input the time format in the settings tab. So here you go in settings tab and you, you decide if you're going to input your time in 24 hours or 12 hours. So now the second thing I'm suggesting here is you go in a roster tab and you input the month year. So you go here, you input a month like this and you input a year. I suggest first, uh, first time you do this, you, you just create one with a month and then uh, you save it once you've done all this so you can reuse what you have done in the previous month. So this is done already. Getting started is done. Resourcing. After we go in a resourcing tab here and we input very simple input, the resource name and the hourly rate. The hourly rate will be used to calculate uh, the cost of a shift or of all the shifts of the month here, if you have that. And it's uh, the costs are calculated also with, without the break. So if you have a 30 minute break, the 30 minutes will not be taken into account when we calculate the cost. So this is done. We're already in number three here. Uh, so this is obviously the one to three, you'll do it only once I assume. And the four, this is where you'll be doing your work every month. So shifts. So before I go into shifts, I just want to highlight how this works. You have uh, two choices. Uh, when you create, uh, when you allocate a shift to a resource, you can either say it's manual or you can, you can click and you can select an existing shift. So the shifts that you have to input very often for efficiency, you can create them here. And you, there is a number here. Uh, you don't need to have all this. You, you, you have a shift number, you don't need to touch that. Uh, you only put the start and breaks and break start. So I'm just going to demo on one, creating the shift number 14. Uh, let's say, for instance, it's between 6 a.m. to, uh, let's say, 2 p.m. And there's a 30 minutes break. He wants you to put a break start. It's not really mandatory, but uh, it's nice to have. And if you put it outside the hours, it doesn't like it. So you need to go and put a break. I'm just going to put a break at 10 a.m. here. So this is done. Now we've created a shift. We created a shift at number 14. Now when you go back under the roster tab, you can uh, select a resource. Let's say resource 10 here. I selected it. And here you have the choice between putting manual. Um, but I want to use the, the, roast, uh, the shift sorry, that I've just created. So the 6 to 14, I'm just creating here. And it automatically brings me back the hours that have actually been worked. So there was 8 hours, less than 30 minutes, uh, 7.5 hours. It doesn't show me any cost yet that because I haven't really selected which day. So if I select days, let's say it's going to work on Monday. It's going to work Monday to uh, Thursday, Friday. So here this is calculating the cost. Uh, let's have a look. So that was resource 10. Resource 10 add 50 hours, $50 an hour. Okay, so you can you have the weekends highlighted a little bit differently. And uh, the 6 to 14, it should show also here. So you have the shift showing here. It doesn't really make sense when you have several days, but it's just a quick way to visualize the shift uh, that you have created. Okay. So this is being done using the, uh, an existing shift that you select from here. Now, if I create another sh uh, shift here, re uh, resource 11, uh, this time I'm going to put it manual. And here I just can put, uh, this is a shift that I won't be using often. You know? So this way I don't want to put it under the sh pretty fine shift. Uh, this, let's say it's a very early shift. Let's say it's between 2 a.m. to uh, 5 a.m., say. And there is there will be no breaks, so it, and that's going to be only on a specific day here. So I don't want to create shifts and like that. I'm just going to put it. I mean, you could argue for in this very instance, you you wouldn't even need to log it here, but at least you have all your cost here. So here, this is it. So this is, and this will be showing also here. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but you have the breaks that are uh, showing here, the paler color, and uh, that's it. So that's. Uh, gives you the number of shifts, two shifts actually, 
uh, to Talaos and the coast here. And if I go back uh, to my resourcing here, you have all the cost by resource and you have a total and also you have the total sheet for the period that should uh, help you and the total hours worked as well. And if I go back here, yes, I've done this, the shifts, I've done the roster and this is all good. And here you have a quick uh, reminder on, on how it works. Okay, so I, have, I hope that was okay for a, for a quick demo. Let me know if you have any, any queries or questions. And if you are still hesitating between the two, I'll look, I can show you, I advise you to have a look at this other uh, quick demo here of the weekly roster instead.